Hey everyone, it's Tammy, and today I'm going to share with you guys the probably the best thing I've ever done for my planner slash for my sanity. I have finally figured out a way to have all of my daughter's school stuff, my things for her school, in one place that's actually in my planner and looks good. I have everything like by the month of what's going on and everything, but I'm going to be changing out my planner to kind of be more color coded um, for the month out of view. Show you guys. Um, see how it's, I have everything set up right now, but I kind of want to have it look way more organized. Um, so I'm kind of like really getting into every single bit of my planner of what I like and everything. And this just, uh, this was exactly what I needed. And I got inspiration from Jen D4. I will put her information below. I believe she got the hourly planner was showing it and was saying that she was either going to circle or stamp these for like vacations or stuff like that for her planner and a little light bulb went off in my head and I was like I need to hole punch little circles around the days that Emery has off and PTO stuff and anything else I need and I came right in here and did it and it was the worst quality video I think I've done in a long time I was just way too excited I was talking extremely fast I was flipping through my planner so much that I was trying to edit it out and it just got really choppy. So instead of a tutorial, I'm just going to show you guys what I did and then share what I did as well. So these little dots are just the stickers from the back of the Erin Condren planner. And I just notated it for no school, half day, first and last day, my PTO meetings and room party. And I just figured this out um, like the first of December, honestly. So that's why the rest of the months from school are not done. Um, I didn't feel like going back to do that. I thought it was unnecessary to waste the stickers, especially since I'll be doing it from here to here when Emery and Colin are in school next year. So this just is everything I've needed and I could bring it to the PTO meetings to mark it off, my room mom planning stuff, just everything. And it's just in one place and I am in love with it. So all I did was I used a regular old hole puncher and then the blank stickers that are in the back of the Erin Condren when you purchase them. That's what I used. I just hole punched them out and the ones that I didn't use, like I could peel this back up, hole punch it, mark my next meeting. And I'm able to use all these up, which makes me feel so happy. So that is what I did and there's, you can also just do a simple like circle it, everything like that. If I did go back, I probably would try to find a better way to put it up here just cause my handwriting looks so janky cause my, my entire hand was hanging off to put these words down to write that. So next year I'll probably have it up here so it's a little bit more nicer. Um, You can also use page flags. We all have like way too many of these hole punch these put some adhesive on the back and you can stick them down as well anything that just sparks your mind and makes you happy to do for yourself do it i am so in love with this and it's much easier to just look in one place instead of flipping through my planner or going up to the fridge to make sure i have it correct it's just oh planner piece yet again so thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this now i'm going to go back to my silhouette and start making stickers for this upcoming week to plan and uh, just so happy. All right, if you guys decide to do something like this, please tag me on Instagram so I can see your planner. I would, I just, I love seeing other people's creations. All right, thank you so much and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone.